Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Orgul, and we are in Upper Guck at the Ancient Crocodile Camp. Now, this can spawn between one and five mobs at a time, and then of course, the Ancient Crocodile itself. So the way I was doing this camp is I would go ahead and snare, pull, root one, put all my dots on it, then go ahead and do the same thing to a second one, then root it, and then once those two were dead, then I would start on whatever was left. So if it was a five spawn, I would do two, and then two more, and then one uh, by itself at the end. So it, it was a really easy camp. I was able to do all five mobs if it was a spy, five spawn in one mana pool, or one full bar of mana. And you have 16 minutes between each spawn, so it's actually not very hard to do this camp at all. Now, I think in this, this is me just getting acclimated to the camp. I think this is probably only the third or fourth uh, spawn that I had, and then I finally got into my groove. And was able to get some really, really good experience here. Now, one of the things I wanted to do with Orgul is I wanted to take him... <clears throat> not only places that you can solo, uh, but make money, and maybe not always the same places that everybody else goes. So, I, I figured here, with my schedule being able to take 16 minutes to work, and then come back, kill a little bit more, and then, of course, you just have to validate that you are holding the camp, or keep up with uh, camp checks as well. But uh, I, I, I was here probably a good five hours, I think. Uh, and I was just about to level uh, at this point and finally did level uh, in the next area that we go to. But yeah, so what I've done so far on this character is I did what I've done the Sisters in Ocean of Tears. I've done the Trents. Now I'm doing these and... As far as money goes, Trents cannot be beat. You can do Trents for as long as you want. You can make thousands of plat there. And it's just really limited to the amount of time that you can hold the camp. As far as this camp, you it, it can be profitable. But uh, that's not why I was here. It, the profitability is that if the AC, can, uh, AC does spawn... It drops two main items, two items actually. Uh, one is the gator scale leggings, and the other is the gator, gator scale sleeves. The sleeves sell for 100 plat a piece, and they're very common. The legs, which have wisdom on them, sell between 6 and 800 plat. So, I mean, if I was to have got a spawn during the time I was here, it, yes, I would have made some money. And you can stay there until you're level, um, until you're, I think, level 38 or so. I mean, it's, you could stay there for a while. So, I decided I wanted to also show another camp that a lot of people probably don't do at this level on a Necromancer because they're worried about whatever faction it is that they're going to do whenever they come to Vilius. But for me, I wasn't worried about that at all. So, I decided I was going to do the, the different, um, the different coldane here in Great Divide. Now, <laughs> I had a whole lot of trouble. You can actually see that I failed my two um, my two snares on the guy. And then finally I was able to get on him. And I think at this point I'm taking damage for my pet. Because my pet was about to die. And I was just given a uh, torch so that he could dual wield. So I think I ended up finally getting him to the point where I was able to snare him and then I went ahead and feared him. And you can see I'm running four dots on him at the time. So he did go down pretty fast, but I ended up having to hold him, um, hold aggro or stay on him or stay close to him. So my pet didn't die this whole fight. It was actually a really easy camp. I ended up dying uh, due to hubris. Because I was trying to take on more than uh, more than I could handle at the time. Especially with the fact that uh, these resist. 
And you also have to worry about the fact that there are dogs around here as well. So as you saw, I was able to ding. And, and I got to tell you, I got pretty much 20% into level. And I died because, again, I was trying to pull more than I should have. I wasn't waiting for full mana. And um, because of the fact that the um, <laughs> the the field of... Dwarves was my uh, oyster shell. Is that the right way of saying that? I ended up just um, pulling too much and and killing myself. And um and now Oracle is dead and great divide until I can get on next time. But either way, the camp was great. And why would you come to this camp? I mean, you're gonna get negative faction with the coldane. Well, here's some great information. <laughs> <laughs> One, and the experience is actually pretty good experience for being in Vilius. Vilius is not known for being uh, good with experience. It's known for being good for loot. Now, these Coldanes drop Coldane heads, which are required for two different faction um, points. One is your primary faction, or the base faction, and Kale, and one is for I think Tormax or whoever the the second uh, faction is in in Kale. You have to turn in twenty to thirty heads for the the base faction, and you have to turn in two hundred heads for for the other. So each head uh, that you get off of these guys, you can sell for a hundred plat, and that's pretty much what I was going for is just trying to make that 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 hundred plat per her head and while i was here um and before i died i didn't get any but i did get some beards i got some villious weapons so i did make a little bit of money out of it either way and um that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you two camps that i've been doing and that are giving me some great experience this being the more advanced of the two camps, the other one I could have probably just stayed at and got level 39 or 38. At 38, I'll be going to Spectres and I'll stay there until I can't get experience off of them anymore. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.